Here we are talking general kinesio taping. You can use kinesio tape anywhere on the body, essentially an area that is painful or inflamed because the whole point of using kinesio tape is to pull up on that skin tissue layer, allow for lymphatic drainage, which is inflammation, and you also end up taking pressure off of pain receptors. So it just, it can feel really good. Uh, we're gonna work lots of different areas of the body so that you, you can understand how easy it is to apply wherever you're really dealing with pain. We'll keep this relatively short and sweet. We're gonna use the same size for all of it. You can change sizes, you can cut pieces so that they can wrap differently. You can do whatever you want with this tape, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna use this one size. The beauty of kinesio tape or rock tape or what are the other versions? KT tape. KT tape. There are so many different variations of this tape. They're all essentially the same. You can certainly have your favorite, but the idea is to pull the tape so that again, it ends up pulling up on that skin tissue layer. So you want to give it like a 20 to 40% pull uh, just so that you have enough pull for it to do exactly what you're wanting it to. So for upper trap, in this instance, the idea is to lengthen through the area that you're dealing with, you want the skin taut, okay? So in this case, I'm having her drop her head forward so that I can put the tape right in here and just stretch it across and drop it down. You can't really do this wrong, okay? So the biggest, the biggest thing is to really just follow the pain pattern where you're feeling things. Come on up, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, model Dr. Cassidy. <laughs> this next one I'm going to do for what we call mommy shoulder, mommy arm. You can take the top piece here and just bring it on down. Another thing that is nice for this area in particular is to cut fingers so that they can kind of wrap. But again, you can't do this wrong. Okay, next we're gonna do what we call mommy elbow. You don't have to be a mommy to deal with these issues. This is also a variation of tennis elbow and golfer's elbow. But you'll understand if you are a mommy why we call it mommy elbow because all day long you're doing this. So with this, we like to kind of come over the joint space again. If you wanted to create fingers to kind of go around, you can, but to brace it here and then just give it a nice, a nice pull through that area. Again, just targeting the area that you're really feeling a lot of inflammation in. And you can tape over this, or tape over this. You can ice over this. You can shower with the tape on. And you'll notice I am rubbing it after I apply it. That is because the adhesive is heat activated. So to keep it sticking, I rub it, it helps. You can also use a blow dryer, you can use whatever you want. Here I'm gonna get into what would be like a carpal tunnel symptom. You can bring the tape down here. Sometimes we'll even wrap around the wrist and use it as a little more of a brace tape. But again, this tape is not necessarily just for bracing. It really is meant to move with the body, so you don't necessarily stop any amount of movement with it. But again, with carpal tunnel, sometimes what we'll do is wrap around so it's just a little tighter, so you're not cutting off circulation, but you're still working on that inflammatory piece. But this is a really good area when you're dealing with carpal tunnel. Now we're gonna go into ankle, plantar fascia, and knee in the lower extremity. So if I was looking at Plantar fascia, I would want to wrap basically around the base of the foot. Typically, I'd use a piece a little bigger than this because you want to work on that, that arch drop. So what we see often postpartum in that fourth trimester is a lot of arch drop because, well, even during pregnancy, because of the relaxing component in your foot. But again, you don't have to be pregnant or have been pregnant to deal with plantar fasciitis. So in this case, I would just lengthen through with the tape. Oh, now I'm gonna struggle because I'm underneath here and I would pull and then lift up through that arch. Tape is gonna be more likely to come off and the foot spaces because of the sweat and the heat and the fact that you're putting a lot of pressure on it. So this, this tape is more likely to come off on the foot so you'd wanna wrap or give it some brace pieces just to stick a little better. Now I'm gonna get into the ankle. Typically ankle stuff is lateral. It's on the outside of the foot. So. You're typically talking about this side. It doesn't have to be, but that's where we're gonna tape today. So I would take it here and I would just kind of wrap it. You can give these, you can give this tape an angle, which is really nice. So I'm gonna just kind of show you, let's see, I don't know if that's possible, but I gave it a little bit of a J, which is great because my name is Jessie. Um, <laughs> but 
you can move this tape and that's the beauty of it. And then last but not least, we're gonna go to the knee. And usually for knee, we're dealing with this lateral aspect right in here, because it's where the IT band inserts and it's where a lot of this calf tension comes from. So in this case, I'm gonna cut up around and again, give it an angle. So now I've got a really nice angle over that knee joint and then you could add brace pieces to, to either end if you wanted. The other thing I will note is that on all of this tape, we pre-cut the corners because it keeps it from pulling off. If they're hard corners, they're, they're more likely to, to peel off. So cut the corners, it'll help it stick longer.